Okay, so your web browser keeps getting redirected to this uh, Flipora or the static.flipora.com. I'm going to show you how to remove it. It's basically a browser hijacker, and I'm going to show you how to do it on all three browsers, starting with the Google Chrome, then Internet Explorer, and then Mozilla Firefox. So first thing is first, okay? What we have to do, first of all, is go into your control panel, and you want to go into the Add Remove Programs. Okay, now, now different people will have different uh, names in here as well, but for most of you, it's going to be under the name Flipora. If you find this anywhere in here, you want to go ahead and install it. Also, you, what you might want to look at is is published by Infoax. If you see anything installed on your on your uh, installed programs with this company name, you want to install that as well. But most of you will just have this on there, this in there, Flipora. And I'll say something else. You just uninstall that. Once you do that, we'll start off with um, Google Chrome. Top right hand corner. Click on that little settings tab and scroll all the way down. And go to settings. And then from here, we want to look at three three things on here. Okay, on startup, you want to make sure you click on set pages. If you see anything to do with uh, Flipora. What you want to do is just exit out. Next step, go down to Appearance. Go down here and click on Change. You see Flipora here? Go ahead and exit out and delete it. Next is you want to go to Manage Search Engines. So it's right here under Search. Click on Manage Search Engines. Make sure Flipora is not in here anywhere. Any of these, if it's in here anywhere, go ahead and exit out. Okay, next thing you want to do is you want to go into the extensions. And this is what we're going to be looking for under extensions. Okay. Now, if you see um, Flip, BHO, or Flipora sidebar, or anything to do with the word Flipora, what you want to do is you want to go ahead and delete it, completely remove it if it's in here. Okay. And now, the last and final step is what we want to do is we want to click. Back onto the settings tab. And we're going to scroll all the way down and then click on the very bottom here. You'll, it'll say uh, show advanced settings. Go ahead and click on that and then scroll all the way down again to the very, very bottom. And it says here reset browser settings. Click on that. And you want to go ahead and reset your browser settings. Now take note, once you reset your browser settings, it's going to delete your browsing history, your favorites, your bookmarks, your temporary internet files. It's going to reset the whole entire uh, Google Chrome browser. So take note, once you do that, go ahead and close and reopen, and you should be able to browse uh, as usual, normally. Okay, now let's go ahead and move on to Internet Explorer. Okay, so I have Internet Explorer open in the top right hand corner on a little wrench or maybe a three bar prong, depending on what version of uh, IE you're using. Go ahead and click on Manage Add ons. And then Tools and Extensions, and same thing in here, just like we did for Chrome. What you want to do is you want to look for Flip BHO or Flipora sidebar or anything to do with this word here, Flipora. If it's in here, you just want to select it and you want to go ahead and disable it. Okay, next place you want to go to is search providers. Click on here. You see Flipora here anywhere? <clears throat> you want to go ahead and highlight it and remove it. Okay, next thing what we want to do is we want to go back up to that little wrench, top right hand corner, click on that, go all the way down to internet options. And obviously, we want to make sure your home page is not set to Flipora. It might say the static Flipora.com is in here. Take it out. Now, the last and final step on the same window here, you want to click on this last tab here, Advanced. And then look on the bottom there, it says Reset. So you're basically going to have to reset your Internet Explorer browser. Now, take note once you reset it, you're going to, it's going to reset the whole entire browser. You're going to lose all of your. Uh, web history, uh, your bookmarks, your favorites, your temporary internet files. Once you do this, close and reopen Internet Explorer and it should be long gone. 
Now let's move to Firefox. Okay, so I have uh, Mozilla Firefox open. Top left-hand corner, you see the little orange Firefox symbol. Click on that and go to Add-ons. From here, click on Extensions. And if you look at Extensions, if you see Flip, if you see this, Flip HBO or Flip Poor Sidebar, you want to disable it. Also, you want to look under Plugins. See anything to do with Flipora here? You want to deactivate it. Okay, next thing, go back to the top left hand corner. Click on that. And this time we want to go to Options. Now make sure your home page is not set onto that static.flipora.com. If it is, change it. The next thing we're going to do is go and manage search engines. So, how you do that is uh, let me just open up another. Uh, another tab here and then if you look under your search here see where it says uh, Google you click on a little down arrow and it has all my uh, search engines here click on manage search engines and then make sure Flipora or static Flipora is not in here if it is select it and then remove okay well, that's the final step top left hand corner again click that go to help and we're going to go to troubleshooting information from here we're going to reset the browser uh, once this page comes up, look on the top right hand corner, it says Reset Firefox. Now take note again, if you're going to reset Firefox, you're going to uh, basically delete your browsing history, your bookmarks, your favorites, uh, your history, uh, your temporary files, your cookies. Once you click on, uh, once you reset Mozilla Firefox, you close and reopen and your, your browser, your computer should be back to normal. Any questions or comments or anything, just comment below. Uh, any likes would be appreciated if this helped you. And any subscriptions would be even better. Thanks and have a good night. Bye.